Hello everybody! So, uh, reshade. Reshading of your game. Um, I've looked at uh, a couple of uh, options on the World Wide Web and I found two ways. Uh, there's probably more, but at least for the game I'm playing, Farming Simulator 22. I'm on PC today. I don't think you can do this on console. Uh, but the two options I found was GeForce Experience. Um, since I have a NVIDIA graphic card already, uh, I thought that would be great to, to use. Uh, but then you also got something called reshade.me, uh, wasn't it? Yeah, reshade.me. I watched a couple of videos on that and that was a little bit complicated for my competence on the IBM machine. Uh, so for this video, I'm gonna I'm gonna just show you how I did it uh, when it comes to GeForce experience. Uh, so let's uh, just do like so. What did it go in black? <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> so to find out if you have uh, uh, Nvidia graphic card, uh, at least this is the way I do it. Uh, I go into Control Alt Delete and then I go into uh, you know your Task Manager, and then if you go all the way down here, you can see GPU, and mine is saying Nvidia GeForce RTX 3060. So I have it. I have the NVIDIA. And I've also downloaded the... Uh, now you can't see it because of my big head. <laughs> but I have the uh, GeForce Experience. Oh, now I need to move myself down again. GeForce Experience. Uh, so this is... Um, I don't know what you call it. Like a plugin uh, for the uh, NVIDIA. Uh, I found this on, I just went down here and I pressed GeForce Experience, oh now it's going to start of course, but that's going to take you to the uh, nvidia.com website and you can download this. Um, so yeah, you know what, I, I think I'm just going to fire up the game and we'll take it from there. So let's see here. Farming Simulator 22 is sound on. Joe's. Yo's. <laughs> let's see if my game can start up. There we go. Yeah, my custom background. Uh, I know. Um, so uh, it says in the top right corner, press Alt Set to use the GeForce. So I'm pressing Alt S. No, not Alt S. Alt Set. And then you're getting all these menus up. I haven't discovered, you know, clicked into any of these except for this one here. I know it's in Norwegian, but I'm going to at least speak in English. Uh, so this is Game Filter. Uh, and to open this, it's Alt F3. There's probably some settings under here. Uh, yeah. Uh, keyboard um, uh, shortcut, yeah. Alt F3 um, game filter. So I could probably change this, but <laughs> I'm not gonna touch it. And Alt Set is gonna open. Um, it's gonna open the whole uh, thing here. So then you can just press Escape to get out of it, and then Alt Set, and it opens it up again. Uh, escape. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get open up. Uh, which one did I test it on? Uh, no man's land. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, like I said, um, um, if you have an experience with the other um, uh, software, which is called Reshade.me, uh, leave a comment and what kind of settings do you use? There, uh, there's a lot of just inside this GeForce experience, there's a lot of things you can do, and I definitely see a change. Um, I don't think I found the perfect way just now. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, now we are in the game and we got the sound. Yeah, everything is on. So I'm here on my test map on um, No Man's Land. So uh, I got. 
you know, I play, just placed down a houser, I placed down a couple of tractors uh, with different color, and this is just for me to stand on top here. Uh, so this is the this is the um, this is the picture that we're gonna use. <laughs> so now I'm gonna press Alt F3, Alt F3, and it's gonna open this one. Now I need uh, yeah, it's Friday actually, so I'm recording this at least on a Friday. <laughs> so um, then it opens up this one, and it says here now it's off. I know it's in Norwegian, but it says it's off, and you have three different game filters that you can use. Now, number one is one that I've been playing around with, so this looks like this. Boop. You see, it's much brighter, uh, the colors are a little bit more uh, stronger, so if I turn it off again, boom, it looks very dull and, yeah, boring. Uh, but yeah, so th these are the, the settings I've been playing around with. Uh, but then I can go to number two, which is completely empty. And then you can add a filter. Uh, I'm translating a little bit as I go ahead a little bit here now. So add a filter. And this one here, there's a lot of filters. And some of them are in Norwegian. Some of them are in German. I don't know why. Uh, automatic sharpen diepte. I, I have no idea what that is. Um, but it, but it, it, it's really easy to use. So if I go into here now and I choose one of the filters, like details, for example, then it's going to come a little bit brighter. And then you can click on details and then you can make it brighter or more blurrer. I don't know if you can see the difference. Let's put it all the way down there. And then, yeah, now you see some differences there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Or oh, HDR toning. You know, you can definitely see. So it, it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of playing around um, with all of these filters. But let's say you you put it on this and this and this and you're not happy at all. Uh, then you can just delete that filter. So on this one here, just delete it, and it's going to go back to, uh, you know, to ground zero. So the, you know, even now it seems very. Uh, what should I say? Now I can't move my game uh, actually. Um, yeah. So when you are in this menu, you cannot move around. I don't think so. At least not with my controller. But uh, let's have a look at some of the um, um, filters. I think, let's see what I have. I have color, I have exposure, contrast, details, and make sharper. Uh, but what you also have, let's see, let's start scratch now. Let's start scratch on filter number two. <laughs> well, you have some really cool ones there. Old, um, old photo film, uh, which makes it like this, <laughs> which is pretty cool. <laughs> and then you can adjust it inside also here to make it brighter or exposure, contrast. You know, if you want to do an old vintage series. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you can do it like so. Oh, even the colors. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Styrke. So let's say I want to keep that one. All right. Uh, then I can go into colors and I can, um, I can, you know, adjust the colors as I want. Like I said, I, I, I haven't played too much with this one. Um, and then I feel, no, I don't want the color. I want to take off the color. I want just the old one. Uh, but there's also a one called, oh, what was it? Um, small charm. With <laughs> which means um, a narrow, narrow screen. Uh, so I think this could be a pretty good one. Uh, when it comes to if you want to make um, a short video, 
because then uh, let's see it's not the horizontal one let's keep the horizontal but the vertical scale so if I do like so I don't know what exactly size I, I need to have to make a short but um, like you see now you know sometimes when I'm making a short video on my PC you know I'm filming like this and then when I come into my photo editing software uh, I only see this so this could be a great way of you know narrow it down to what you actually want to see I think and then uh, you can also take the horizontal one a little bit uh, yeah so <laughs> so I don't know exact what the settings are on um, and the uh, the short movie but you know let's see uh, what did I go for Sturke and you know if you want to make an old video a really old video like so a vintage series well that went wrong so now the old photo film is more or less ruined so I'm gonna I'm gonna delete that one and I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in one more time and see where are the buddy old photo film there we go so yeah it, it it's a lot of um, there's a lot of options uh, and if I go to number three now uh, this is empty so this is uh, how it looks in base game so now I have two different game filters I have this one which I think maybe is a little bit uh, bright so I can adjust it a little bit maybe it's yeah where's the brightness uh, maybe exposure contrast shadows uh, now you know what I'm gonna keep it like that and press escape and now I can play with it oh look at those bright uh, rims <laughs> it's maybe a little bit bright but um, uh, it, it's it's definitely something to play around with and it's a free software as uh, at least to my knowledge as long as you have uh, the uh, um, uh, Nvidia uh, graphic card installed on your computer and you can use this for a lot of different games um, like you s oh, I didn't show that because I, I did record when I was downloading the GeForce but then my OBS studio went crazy so everything was shut down um, but that's probably because I you know clicked on something wrong look at the brightness you can even see you know all the bolts and nuts and I can you know use this as a mirror <laughs> so if if I don't want this now uh, I can just uh, you know let's see a difference here now uh, alt f3 bam and then I'm gonna shut off uh, all filters bam and then we are back to this is the more boring uh, filter from giant software not that bright well it is bright of course but yeah it's a little bit dark here and there the shadows are a little bit too dark so <laughs> So, so that that's that's um, at least my first experience with GeForce experience. Oh, that was a bad saying. Um, so yeah, that, uh, I'm I'm gonna play around with it. Uh, you have three filters, and that should be enough. Uh, but anyway, if you have any tips on uh, how to set this up properly to get a really nice color and brightness and all these things, leave a comment downstairs. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye bye.